Oh, because they, they have a certain uniqueness. I like that. Any other questions? Okay, if on a lot of early year programs, they don't feel like the agency is great. We came to our and the budget and the most interesting thing I got to know the parent was so hear? much interested. Parents said that uh, whatever books uh, they had, all the whatever stuff was there. They took all the stuff and they said, we'll just take uh, two, three weeks. And we will solve all the questions, all the sums, everything, and they give it to the student. And he will then just, you know, <laughs> not letting you do anything. And he did not understand that it was important for the child to try out the He was constantly telling me, okay, I'll help you also. I'll give you all the sort things so you can do that. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we talk about creative blocks? I've heard that term. I, I, I have a creative block quite often. Um, even writers would say, "Gee, I, I, I had to stop. I can't. I can't really prepare this lesson at all." What I need is some new pencil because for some reason or not, you're in a wall. Your creativity isn't there. So you need a new pencil, a new paintbrush, uh, a new ribbon for typewriter. There's always some excuse to stop. And so that means is it is, and it's time to stop. It's, your creativity has reached, it's gone down. So if you stop, take a break, come to tea, go for a walk. Step out of your mind a little bit, and then come back to it, and then you'll find that you're refreshed, you're more motivated, and you can continue to do it. There's a lot of us create these blocks only because it's time to stop. And for me, I mean, I've been traveling, and traveling since. 20th of October. I've been traveling. I think you are. I think you are. One part of England, one part of England, back home for the day, and then two days after London, I'm back home. I hope the next day I'll have another part of England. And then all of a sudden, I've got to get ready for Pakistan. I've got to plan all of this, right? I come to Pakistan, and it's not enough time in the day. So last night, I hit a wall because I came home at 11 o'clock, figuring I could prepare for today before I go you know, to sleep. And then I think, well, I'll wake up early in the morning and get ready. You know, and I said, okay, for me to get ready, I have to make sure I know what I want to do and where everything is. So I woke up. And ran around like, I don't know, I haven't described it, but I was really busy the first thing in the morning. And then, you know, organizing bags, that's why I had trouble finding things, you know, this, this USB stick, etc. But, you know, I stopped because I knew I just couldn't go any further last night. And this morning, I was just chock full of energy. There's no way to stop it. You know, I think doing your work, you reach a point where you can't do this, where you go. It's just it means it's time to stop. Do something else, go to sleep, you know, have a tea, you know, have a conversation with the people you're living with, share, sharing something. So that comes creative blocks. Does anybody have any questions about creative blocks? your own piece of paper before so now if somebody could just fold that in half then open it up and as a group put some paint on it and we'll make a big butterfly print yes is this understood and if you've got another idea you know don't feel like you have to conform to what everybody's doing you know if you feel that you have an inspiration to do something else if you want to use 
the felt tip pencils as well. If you want to pour paint on your hand and do that all over it, be my guest. We have ways of cleaning up.